What is going on everyone? My name is Andy. Welcome back to another FPL video. In this one, we're going to talk specifically about using the free hit in game week 22. Some quick thoughts about whether or not you should or shouldn't. I did do a video on chip strategy. That was my last video. Go and check that one out if you haven't already, because that spoke about why you might want to save it. But I'm going to briefly talk about that here, how the kind of Son news changes things, how the Leicester postponement uh, changes things as well. And also obviously what the draft would look like as it stands before any more games get postponed as well. So if you do enjoy it, give it a like and hit that subscribe button if you're new around here. And let's jump into it. Okay, so just some quick thoughts first, right? So obviously you need to ask yourself how many free hit chips you have left. It's not a normal season. Some of us have got two free hit chips left. If you've only got one, I don't really see why you'd be using it this week. As I spoke about in my chip strategy video, there probably will be a big blank game week around game week 30. And you might be thinking to yourself, well, I'll just plan ahead. We'll know it's coming. We'll know which players are playing and which ones aren't, which is true closer to the time but they are likely to be players that we don't want in our team permanently and that kind of makes the free hit almost perfect for that kind of week so if you've only got one I don't see too many circumstances where you'd be using it this week, right? You can probably get away with some transfers. As long as you've got a double game week captain and maybe a couple of other double game week players, like at least like some of the key ones who we'll talk about in a minute, then you're probably okay. If you've got two, you could use it because in the future, we don't know right now if there will definitely be a better place to use it. But I guess it depends how kind of well your team is looking for this week, right? So you kind of have to decide that yourself. How does Son change things? So... Now, the big news this week, because a lot of us have got Son on our team, he's been orange flagged actually, not red flagged, um, so he's not definitely out, so we should, if you haven't already hit the free hit chip button, or you haven't already made transfers, just wait, right, there's no reason to be doing stuff too hastily right now, you can definitely plan, you can definitely, definitely have a think about what your free hit team would look like, but you don't have to hit any buttons, just wait, right, because what if Son's suddenly available, it changes everything, um, so according to Conte, he's going to be out for two weeks, right? I think it sounded like it was two weeks until he could train, but let's say he's just out for two weeks. So that would take him up until the end of January. So he'd miss the double game week and miss the Chelsea game, right? And then hopefully we'll be back for the Southampton game on the ninth. Bearing in mind, the fixtures afterwards aren't that great. So interestingly, people have two different thought processes when they see something like that. For some people, it's just, well, I'll free hit him out, which is fine. I've got him back for Chelsea. If he misses that, so be it. Probably wasn't going to be a high score anyway. And I get him back for Southampton. That's not too bad. For me, though, like I'm looking at my team thinking, I don't, I can't really cope without having Son in my team. Not like, not like from a, from a mental perspective, but just my team just cannot cope, right? And it's a lot of money to not have playing. Um, so I probably want to transfer him out. And if, I'm, if I need to transfer him out anyway, because I don't really want him for the Chelsea game, then I might as well just do it now rather than free hit. So... In some ways, if you want to keep him, free hit is better. But Son being out makes the free hit arguably weaker in some ways because you can't select Son. But I guess in another way, it makes it better because it means you can select someone else where someone else has to make a transfer, maybe take a hit. So in my opinion, the Son thing doesn't make me more likely to free hit. It makes me less likely as things stand. Obviously, Leicester's game got postponed against Everton. Hugely frustrating if you bought Everton players in like I did. Luckily, I only bought in one. There's some people with two or three. It absolutely sucks. I fully get that. Um, you'd hope that Leicester will be available for the weekend, for their first game. But again, they have another two games. So if the first one gets postponed, it's suddenly only a single game week. So we really need to keep an eye on whether Leicester will play both games. If it looks like the first game will go ahead, you'd assume the second one probably will as well. But obviously, it depends on, on future COVID cases. So if Leicester is still doubling, that obviously makes the free hit a bit better. If they're not, then suddenly I just think the free hit chip looks a bit crazy because if you remember on my other video, I did like a bit of a, a double game week shortlist for players you'd want for this week. Now, this isn't the full list of players, but if you suddenly take out Son and you take out Leicester, if they've not got two games, then suddenly it looks a little bit weaker. So we need to keep an eye on what happens with Leicester as well. Uh, and then obviously I spoke about the future use. So for me right now, I'm probably not going to free hit. And the news we've had so far this week is not going to change that. But you never know. One thing I will do is think about what my free hit team will look like. So let's talk about that. All right, let's talk about a draft. And obviously I'm going to talk about this as if the Leicester game is on, which right now it will be, right? So they should play twice in game week 22. Should be in the big word there, just like all other game weeks at the moment. So the way I've started, as I always do, is with the players that I would think, they're not. I wouldn't necessarily call them essential. 
Um, but I do think no matter which way I build a free hit team, they would probably be in it, right? So you can call it a center if you want, must-haves, whatever. I think these five players would probably be in my free hit squad. So I think Kane or Ronaldo are the best captains now this week, now that um, Son is out of the picture. So I'd probably just have them both, especially with, again, especially with Son out of the picture. Right? It probably makes it a bit easier to fit them in. I think Madison just looks like pretty good value. He's been playing well. Again, we'll have to. We're going to have to keep things are moving quick in FPL right now. Going to have to not only keep an eye on whether the game's going ahead, but obviously which players might miss out. Right, so look out for that. I think Alonso's got enough upside, even though he plays against Man City in the first game, to kind of warrant a place because he is. He can be attacking. Right, we saw it against Liverpool. Um, and in general, I know not in all games, he, like in all games, he hasn't been massively attacking. I do worry a bit about the Brighton game because I'm sure they're just going to put Lamptey up against him again. But I just think Chelsea's defence is generally fairly good. Not necessarily been great recently, but it can be. It's one of the best defences in the league uh, when it's on song. And he's fairly tanky. So I think you'd put him in, right? The, there's upside there, okay? And to be honest, there's not a huge amount of other upside defenders in the team. So he'd be in there. And I'd probably have David De Gea in goal just because... Um, I don't think there's necessarily a Man United defender that I'd really want to put in. Like, Dallow, would he definitely play both games? I don't necessarily think so. Or I don't know is that is the bigger issue, whereas David De Gea probably will. Luke Shaw's suspended for the first one, so I don't know if Tellers will play both. I assume that um, Shaw will come in back in and play. So there's Harry Maguire, maybe. But there's not there's not a huge amount of upside in Man United defenders, so I'd probably just put David De Gea in there. And Cucurella, just because although they played Chelsea in the second game... They're both home games. Brighton don't tend to concede a lot. Um, and so you'd hope that even if they don't keep Chelsea out, they would hopefully keep Palace out. And he is more likely to play both games than Lamptey is. Because I still think, to, this, to a certain extent, Lamptey is still being managed a little bit, right? They don't want to lose him. So Cucurella is a bit more expensive, but you can fit him in. Then it gets a bit more difficult, right? And this is why Son being out is so tricky. Because in my opinion... The midfield was the weakest part of the free hit on game week 22. Forwards, right? You got Ronaldo and Kane. You got Dennis. You could go King. You could even go Chris Wood. Don't laugh, right? But you could go Chris Wood um, because Burnley's two games are Leicester at home, Watford at home. Both defenses have been really poor so far this season. Obviously, I know a lot of people are going to be drawn towards the Watford uh, forwards, and I've got no issues with that whatsoever. Newcastle away and Burnley away. Again, both teams with. Um, pretty poor defenses but I just I don't know the fact that Burnley's games are both at home might make me swing towards there but for now we'll put Dennis in okay and obviously he's flagged we'll have to wait and see if he's fit if not you could put Josh King in but do not write Chris Wood off as an option for one week only you don't have to keep him but for one week only it could be decent penalties and everything then you come on to the other midfielders this is where it gets a little bit weaker so one player we'll, we'll just put Foster in by the way because I'd probably I mean ideally you'd have a playing goalkeeper there but let's see if we can make it work first um so obviously one of the things you could do with Son out is put Fernandez in again my main problem with him is are you guaranteed to play both games he didn't start he didn't start oh, sorry he was suspended against Burnley but he didn't start against Wolves we were Man United were poor, but they were better when he came on the pitch. So I'd be surprised if he doesn't start the next game. But there's, there is no guarantee he plays both. So he'd be a little bit of a concern, but you can probably fit him in on your on your free hit, right? And then really, there's not... If we think about who's free hitting... Which screen did I put it on? This one? Yeah. If we think about the teams that are free hitting, like Chelsea, you could go for Mount. Um... Spurs, Lucas Moura, maybe, but, but will Bergwijn play? Will it be Deli Alley? I, I just don't know which one to pick. I think it's very difficult to get one that's definitely going to play twice and also be a good option. Um, Trossard, obviously. Mbomo, maybe, is a backup. And then Madison, we've already got in. And Fernandez, really. I mean, Greenwood, but I, I, I don't know. I just don't think Greenwood's going to play twice. I think there's more chance. I know Greenwood's been playing more recently, but I think Fernandez has got more chance now of playing twice. So... I think it's pretty tricky, if I'm honest. But I think it probably has to be Mount and Trossard and Bomo as the three. Um, we'll just put in the main two right now, which would be Trossard. The thing is, I'm okay with putting Cucurella in, even though he's playing Chelsea, because Brighton are fairly defensive. Attacking-wise, they're not great. So Trossard almost becomes a default pick, and Chelsea's not an easy game either. So, I don't know, Crystal Palace have been stubborn as well. So, I don't even think it's it's necessarily that exciting, that midfield. Um, and then, I've got a few notes here on the other screen. Yeah, Regulon's probably the other one that I'd probably um, 
look to put in and have another Spurs player in there. You could double up with Loris and Regulon, but I just think against Arsenal and Leicester, they are both teams that could score against Spurs. So I don't think I'd want to double up. So that would probably be without a couple of other bench options. So you got, um, you know, 4.5 million three times is what, 12 and a half? No, 13 and a half. So you've got just about enough to fill these spots in with other players. So you could go for something like that. Obviously, if you wanted to get a bit more money into the team somewhere else. You could downgrade Fernandes to somebody else. But again, if we come back to what which midfielder would you put in, it gets pretty tricky, right? Because there's not a huge amount of options. Like ideally, you'd put Chris Wood in to the team and you'd go for a Watford midfielder instead. I mean, maybe you go for Dwight McNeil. I mean, these are the kind of names we're talking about. And I've got to be honest, since kind of putting the free hit together... It just makes me less likely to want to do it. Like I know, like in my opinion, the free hit, right? This free hit right here will almost certainly outscore my team. I think people at times, like sometimes we get really excited about double game weeks, and I know fixtures play a big part. But I think sometimes when the games don't look quite as good, we undervalue just how many extra points these players will get. Right? Just appearance points alone is four points plus any attack and returns to get on top. So the chance of them getting more points than our single game players is still quite high, right? I'd rather have Trossard than I'd rather have the, than Bowen, sorry, this week, even though Bowen's got a really good fixture, just because that, that's how big of a difference the two fixtures make. So I do think this free hit team will outscore my actual team, but when I build it, I'm just I'm just not massively confident about a lot of the players. The midfield, I think, is is... It's not weak in terms of the players selected, but it feels weak. It feels like the weakest position anyway, and you remove Son, it just looks a bit worse. Um, so my main hope is that I, my, not using it this week and using it later will get me more points. We're not going to know that for a while. And obviously, once you don't use it this week, it changes your whole strategy. So it's very hard to compare anyway. But I think, yeah, think thinking out loud, thinking on video in front of this camera, I just... I just don't particularly like it, and I don't think I can make it too much better. Like even even if I put Chris Wood in, I mean, does that does that make me happy about using a free hit? Probably not. And then it makes it much more difficult to fill these spots in. One player you could put in is another Burnley defender, which is Loughton. He was a double game week hero for people last uh, last year. Um, maybe Veltman is a four point two million, and then you put someone in here at four point seven. Um, if I went for Dennis, by the way, I'd probably... Because ideally when you're on a free hit, you want to get a bunch of bench players just in case you get screwed over like everyone is right now. So maybe you don't want to go too heavy on players and then just not have a bench. But if you if you went for Mbomo, um and you couldn't afford Chris Wood, <laughs> you probably don't want Chris Wood anyway, I get it. Then Dennis could be the option instead, right? And then the only play you haven't got is a playing goalkeeper necessarily. But you could rejig the funds maybe a bit to get two playing goalkeepers in there. I mean, instead of De Gea and Foster, I wonder if... Um, I mean, may, maybe Sanchez maybe Sanchez and, like, the, the Brentford goalkeeper might work instead, something like that. Um, but obviously, you'd have to remove one of the these Brentford players. You'd probably just get rid of Veltman, right? So I think something like that, and I've got to be honest, after building it, it doesn't push me towards using it. But you never know. Let's see what happens the rest of this week. So there we go. Let me know in the comments below. Are you free hitting or are you just ignoring it this week? What do you think about the team? Is there any changes you would make? Any kind of differentials? Big unique players? Dwight McNeil, would we really put him in? Let me know in the comments below. If you did enjoy it, give it a like. Hit that subscribe button if you're new around here. I will be hopefully back tomorrow with another video. Let's see if there's any more breaking news, perspirements and stuff like that to talk about. We'll have team selection, game week preview, deadline streams and all that stuff coming up to the deadline. So thank you for watching. Give it a like. Hit subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Thank you.